Hello, and uh, this is a continuation of the previous topics or the elasticity and its application. So we are done with income elasticity of the demand. We are done with the price elasticity of the demand. And now we are going to go to the cross price elasticity of demand. So in the cross price elasticity of demand, we will be talking about two products. We will be comparing two products. So dili lang isa, duha na siya the product X and the product Y. And same, uh, cross-price elasticity is the responsiveness, but this time, this is a responsiveness of the percentage change in the quantity demanded of the product X with a percentage change in the price of the product Y. Okay? So, quantity demanded of the product X over the quantity de uh, or the price of the product Y. So, uh, here, we will uh, notice that if it is zero, the X and Y products are not related at all. So if your cross-demand elasticity is equals to zero, their relationship is not, uh, they are not related. If it is greater than zero or a positive number, uh, they are called substitutes, meaning kapuli siya. Let's say, for example, um, uh, on sa may pwedeng ipuli, um, water, water and juice, di ba? Water and cola. Okay, those are substitute products. Um, pag negative po, or less than zero ang imong answer, these are complements product, meaning they go together, uban sila. Um, for example, ana is uh, cereal and milk. No? Kung mapalit kag cereal, nap dapat napugay milk. Palit kag uh, coffee, dapat naapod siya yung milk. Marapog po tumaya and sari, uh, sari-sari or sikwate. So, muna siya yung complements product. So, in order for us to know uh, if the products are not related, if they are substitutes, or if they are complements to each other, we are going to use this formula. So, familiar na mo aning formula kay pero may man ginagamit. Um, for the cross-price elasticity of demand, we have the percentage change in quantity demanded for product X over the percentage change in the price of product Y. Okay? So, to get the quantity change in product X, this is what we are going to use, the same as what we used in the price and income elasticity. And in the percentage change of price of product Y, so, we are also going to use the same formula, the same concept. We have price 2 minus price 1 over the average price. Okay? So, let us try. We, have, we will solve for cross-price elasticity on this table. We have product X and product Y, Q1, Q2, P1, and P2. Right? So, we are going to compare these products. We will compare these uh quantities and this price okay so um, in order for us to do that so you have to remember that the formula for cross price elasticity of demand is the percentage change in quantity demanded for product x over percentage change in the price of product y and to solve the first upper part of the equation we have QDX2 minus QDX1 over the average quantity demanded, which is equals to 5 QD2 minus 4 over the average of these two. That's 5 plus 4 divided by 2. That's equals to 1 over 4.5 or 0 0.22. Now, we will, we will solve the percentage change in the price of product Y. How are we going to do that? We are going to use this formula, P2 minus P1 over the average price. And that is, the price 2 is, of product Y is 3 minus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 2. And that is 1 over 2.5 or 0 0.40. So, those are the values for this. And to solve for this uh, cross-price elasticity of demand, we will simply substitute this here. Okay? So, substituting, we have 0 0.22 over 0 0.40 is equals to 0 0.55, which is greater than 0 or a positive number and therefore 
product x and y are substitutes. Okay? If it is greater than 0 or positive number, they are substitutes. Meaning, possibly na siyang Coke and, Coke and Pepsi. No? If wala like Coke, Pepsi. Alright? So, mo na siya ay substitute products. Okay? So, I hope that this is uh, clear. And um, I have a challenge for you. So, try to solve this one. This product. Product X and product Y. Uh, quantity 2 and 5 and the price 3 and 1 and put your answers in the comment section so that I'll know and uh, good luck. Thank you.